Are you Trek Rex is back and welcome to my new spear and rapier PvP build. And for the people that ask for the guide, yeah, for the how to play with the spear and rapier, I think I'm gonna make this video with the next patch. Yeah, there are some combat changes and I want to include them in the video. If I make it now, it's maybe a bit outdated, then that's why I wanna wait a few days for the patch. And then I'm gonna also make the how to play with the spear and rapier, the guide video. Today, I wanna show you the updated version of the build. Don't forget to like and subscribe guys and I would say I start now with the build. We should take first a look into the attribute points here and they look a bit weird for the beginning. Yeah, We have 63 points into strength, we have 240 points into dex, 15 points in intelligence and 200 points in constitution. And this looks weird. Why we don't have 250 dex? Yeah, the 250 dex passive is not so important. I can't reach it in a moment because I have on my armor a bit more strength and also on the rapier here, on the named rapier, we have 10 intelligence, so I can't hit the 250 dex in a moment. The passive here is not so strong. I told you guys already in the last build video, it's not so important. Yeah, it's only 10% more critical damage against people that are stunned, slowed, or rooted. We don't have, we only have a stun. Yeah, we don't have the other things. We only have a stun, and the stun ends after you hit the enemy. So it's only on one hit, 10% more critical damage. It's okay when you have it, yeah, it's a nice to have, but it's not so important like the rest, yeah. With more strength, we have more spear damage, with more int, we have more rapier damage. You should definitely check that you don't have over 250 decks, yeah, because the multiplier is lower when you're over 250, then you should definitely put the points into strength or into intelligence for more rapier or spear damage. Okay, yeah, 200 constitution is also very important, yeah, for the people that don't can hit the perfect stats in a moment. First go for 200 constitution, go for the 50 strength passive here and then put the rest into decks yeah? for the people that don't have the biscuit gear in a moment. Let's take a look into the gear that we are using here and I think there are only 3 or 4 changes to the last build video but I want to show them to you guys. Yeah, We have a new rape here for example, I showed it a bit already. We have on this rape here, slice and dice, it's from the mutations, we have 20 decks, yeah, 21 when it's a higher gear score, 10 intelligence. I'm going on the rapier every time with an emirate because the most time I'm using this when I have to follow an enemy and yeah, when they are low health they try to run away then I follow with the rapier and I finish them with the rapier. This is why I go there with an emirate. Rook yeah, for the backstab damage is for me best in slot on the rapier in this build. Yeah, We can stun the enemy, we can go behind him and we can hit him hard with some backstabs. Omnidirectional await, I'm not using this perk on the armor so it fits perfectly as well on the rapier. So I have all the skills, all the skill perks here on my armor and on the weapons. Keen eject is also very important and very strong in the spear rapier combo because we have a small bleeding dot. And on the spear passive here, we are going with extra 15% crit chance when there is a bleeding dot on enemy. And this is also why I show it now here guys, on the chest I'm going with bleeding sweep, there we have also an extra bleeding dot. So we have a high uptime of our bleeding dots with the keen eject and the bleeding sweep perk here for the extra 15% crit chance. Okay, the spear that I'm using is still the javelin of triadic empowerment, yeah, you can farm this weapon on the end boss of the garden dungeon, yeah. Keen, vicious, keen empowered, I'm going here with the extra... 15% damage while I'm not on full stamina, yeah, 31 dex, this spear is crazy, you can farm it on the garden dungeon from the end boss, it's a very powerful weapon, for me also best in slot weapon here in this build. Okay, now we take a look into the armor that I'm using and here for sure we go with all the skill perks, yeah, we have here the refreshing flash, yeah, for the extra cooldown reduction, we have here the bleeding sweep, we have the sundering repost for the extra Rent on the enemy, have yeah, 15% or 14% more damage done to them. We have here the Fortifying Perforate, for me the most important perk that you should definitely have in this build. Yeah, for the extra Fortify, you can stack it up to 3 times, it's close to 30% damage reduction. This is really important and very strong, you should definitely go with this. And then we have here the Keen Ward Kick. And you guys can see here, I'm going with some pieces of the triad gear, yeah. You can craft this gear by yourself when you have armoring on 200. And you need the major armoring trophies when you want a higher chance of a legendary, yeah. I know this is in the moment very expensive for new players, it's hard to get this. But they are easier to craft here. You have a higher chance to get resilient on them and refreshing evasion, yeah. You can't get normal refreshing, I think, only refreshing evasion. But I have on all my pieces, on all my armor pieces here, I'm going with resilient and one of the refreshing perks. The normal refreshing is in this build 
the better option because we have low cooldowns. Yeah, we don't have 30 second cooldowns. Yeah, the most cooldowns are around 10 seconds. So the normal refreshing is a bit better than the refreshing evasion, but it's also okay. Yeah, for a completely best in slot gear, I would change the refreshing evasion to normal refreshing. Or you can also go with pieces with the elemental aversion or the physical aversion. These uh, perks are also re really strong, especially the elemental aversion I think is very strong. And you can also go with some pieces um, with these perks on them. Yeah, definitely go with all pieces resilient. Yeah, this is a big change. Minimum I say four or three pieces, but I think five is definitely the best, yeah. Um, when you don't have access to the full best in slot gear in the moment, it's also no problem. Then go with resilient and the skill perk, yeah, for example. You can go with purple shoes with keen ward kick together with resilient yeah the refreshing is extra yeah resilient is more important than the refreshing perk here in this build definitely guys yeah and here you guys can see for example i have some strength also on the armor and this is the reason why i have a bit over 50 strength in this build yeah but this is no problem yeah this is also really nice in the setup because we have some free space here we don't need full strength or full decks and constitution only we can play with some Strength and dex items, yeah, the combinations, and this is nice. Yeah, sometimes you get these pieces, for example, cheaper than full dex pieces. Something that I forgot to say in the last video, yeah, the gems that I'm using in my armor, they depend on the resistance that you want. I play here on my server with 10% damage reduction against everything, yeah, because we have a lot of void gauntlets, but we have also a lot of people that play with a spear, for example, or great X hammer. So I need physical and elemental defense and this is why I go with a 50-50, yeah, you should check that you have, uh, it depends also on your jewelry, yeah, then check that you have around 50-50, yeah, 10% physical, 10% elemental damage reduction, I have a bit more slash damage reduction because of my amulet here, yeah, and when you say on your server there are more void gauntlets, there's a void gauntlet meta in the moment, then go with a bit more elemental damage reduction, or when you say yeah, there are a lot of melees, a lot of great axe hammer, then go with more slash damage reduction if you want, yeah, this depends on your playstyle and whatever you like more, yeah. Now we take a look on the jewelry that I'm using, and here we start with the amulet, yeah, 16 strength, 10 dex, yeah, this is also a piece where I have a bit more strength, and this is why I have a bit more here, yeah, but it's okay, yeah, we can use it, it was also cheaper than the other ones, yeah, because there was split stats and some people don't need this. Yeah, it's a bit special for this build. Yeah, people with great X hammer, they don't play with the X, and this is why people are selling this stuff cheaper. And this is this is really nice. Yeah, this is this makes the build a bit cheaper than other builds. This is really cool. Yeah, with divine and health, you should definitely go with these two perks. And when you have a third perk that is very useful, it's also nice. I have slash protection here. You can also go with purify. This is also really nice. Void damage reduction is also strong. There are a lot of void gauntlets in the game in the moment. Yeah, something that you like, you can go with the third perk here. Or refreshing is also okay. And now we take a look on the ring that I'm using. Here I have refreshing, leeching, and keen awareness with 26 dex. Yeah, the 26 is because it's a higher gear score. When you have it on 600, it's only 25. And the earring that I'm using is from the garden dungeon from the second boss. The doom's chance earring with refreshing, refreshing toast, and regenerating. Okay guys, this is the build that I'm using in the moment and you guys can see it's it's a full best in slot build. Yeah, we can do some min maxing here, but overall it's yeah, it's finished. Yeah, this build is finished. And I can tell you guys I enjoy this build still a lot. Yeah, it's still my favorite weapon combination in the moment and in heavy armor I play heavy. Some people play the medium. It's also possible when you like medium more, but for me I really enjoy this build in heavy and for me it fits perfectly in heavy. And yeah, guys, I'm really happy that I finished it. And I would say I show you now the skills that I'm using here on the spear. And I think it's the same like in the old bit video. I think I don't have to say to everything something. The only change is here that I put the impactful strikes out and skilled the exposed rounds here for the extra crit chance when the enemy is bleeding. When you don't have kidney checked or the bleeding sweep perk, then you don't need the exposed rounds. Yeah, you only go with this when you have keenly checked on your rapier or on your spear when you don't have the garden spear or the pleading sweep on your yeah the pleading sweep perk on your armor okay yeah then you go with the exposed rounds i put the impactful strikes out because you have to hit all the three hits yeah to stagger them and the most people the most good players they dodge the third attack when you stun them before or they Dodge the first attack, you only hit them with two or one attacks, you don't hit, hit them with the three attacks. So I put this out and it's only a, a small stagger, yeah, it's only one second or half second or so. So it's not so important than the extra 15% crit chance. 
Okay, I think this is the only change that I had in the in the skills here yeah, on the spear, and I think on the weapon there's also no change to before. I skilled the full right side, this one not here. I put, skilled here the left skill um, for the 10% more damage done when the target is over 50% health. Okay, these are the skills that I'm using. This is the build that I'm using, and I still enjoy this build a lot, guys. When you still have questions, then feel free to ask me in the comments below. And we see us in the next video. Have a nice day and bye bye.